What is up, everybody? Welcome to Game 2 of the UHL Finals between the Seattle Captains and the Minnesota Frostbite. So far, in Game 1, Minnesota won with a uh, comeback in the first period and then turned that comeback into a blowout throughout the second period. Let's see what happens today in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Will Minnesota win their second game? Making the series a 2-0 lead? Or a 2-0 lead? Or will Seattle tie the series? We'll find that out in this game. Okay, so Minnesota's going to change their lines. Seattle shoots the puck backwards. Back to Minnesota. And that is a goal for the Seattle Captains. It is 1-0 so far in Game 2 of the UHL Cup Finals. And there's a penalty for against Dole. So that will be a 20-second power play for the Frost. I am the only one now. And the power And the power play has been killed by Seattle. So now it is back to five on five play and now Dole commits an offside penalty resulting in the puck getting frozen back into one of the spots here comes Sullivan Sullivan's going back. Puck is stolen by Rizinok. Picking up by a bird. Puck is taken by Sullivan. And he shoots and it's saved by Daytom. Back to Sullivan. Back to Borg. Minnesota switching to line one. And Seattle is switching to line two. Back to So Coulson. He shoots. It's saved by Dayton. And Dole is offsides again, bringing a puck back to the center. And that is a goal for Um Smith to make the game 2 0 in game two. So it's 2 0 Seattle right now. Minnesota switching the line too. Here comes Sullivan. He shoots. It's saved.
and that is a penalty. It's four on four play. The shot was wide. It's 20 seconds to go in the first period. And another nice save by Dayton. He's having a better game than he did yesterday so far. And that'll do it for the first period. So far it's 2-0. Still with 10 minutes of play to go. Three Sonic stack up off the ball, two man play, Peyton off the kept pick. Ah! He threw it out and jumped like this. This is both the time. <laughs> Watch the ball hit Alonzo Mourning right near the head as it comes through. John Kemp. And you know, hey. Knocked away. And Kemp. Where Shrepford is finally with the steal. Now Peyton the alley. Against the Nets in the first half, at least. That was Shrepp to Gary Payton to Sean Kemp for the jam, and Seattle led 30 to 19 after one quarter. I mean, no, I'm calling everybody in for lemonade, but he said, no, the game's still going on. I'll go in, take this in, and get a slammer. Down to McMillan. McMillan. 
Cleveland on the run to the trailing Detlef Shrimp underneath the kick. Gave up the dribble by Dennis Scott in traffic, shuffle the feet, rejected by... Begin the second period. Nice deflection. Here's Brunner. Pass to Fry. And it's deflected by the goalkeeper of the Seattle captains. And now there's a fight between Pittman and Rezunik. And that will be 50 seconds of 4-on-4 play. Here's the pass to Ray. Shot is saved by the tame once again. Here's another shot by Ray that is saved. Back to Brunner. And that is offsides against James Ray. And Minnesota wins the puck. Saved by Leduck. And that's a penalty against Brunner. Picked up by Uri, saved by Detone. Back to the duck and to Sullivan to Fry. Reza, Fry, and we're down to two minutes left in the second period. There's 
penalty against Leof Skolson. And wide open. He shoots, and it's saved by the lead duck. Shot was wide, or not even close to the net. Shot is saved by one of the defenders, and now there's a fight between Ray and Barry. And Barry won the fight. However, it's a 50-second penalty for both players. That puck went flying. And there is one minute left in the second period. As both teams are trying to figure out who's better than who. Here's Minnesota, and it's take they're taken out. It's a four on three right now. It's going to change to a four on four, and now it's going to expire. Fighting, they're fighting over the puck. The shot is saved by Leduc, and there is 30 seconds left in the second period. Fifteen seconds left in the second period. And that's going to do it for period two. Still 2-0. Five minutes to go in the game. Stay tuned as we will get to the final period. And the lob to Carl! Oh my goodness! Kitty Towns, he's lob dunking one minute. Stepping out. Fans have kind of had a front row seat on the differences of drop coverage, especially when you have... Ooh. Oh my goodness! Story time, and, and Ann Edwards just, man. I mean, he just posterized Trey. Starts the fourth quarter up 15 on the Spurs. Oh, what a crossover by Edwards. And the finish. We went back uh, on the floor late March. Edwards, three. What a start. What a start for Anthony. Who are down by nine, can take a lead. D'Angelo Russell for that lead. Katie, foul! The switch yes, he does. with Zubac. Green, three, Russell, cool! Russell for the lead! Slot in a date with Memphis. Edwards, hold on! Oh, oh my good White jerseys around him. Edwards thinking three, and popping a three! With the shot clock at seven. The screen and the two. Picked up by Beverly and that's all she wrote. The Timberwolves are going to the playoffs. You do have the two days off. Edwards, man, is he cold blooded. Not going to switch. Beverly drills the triple. Oh, that was huge. The Memphis Grizzlies had one of the slow words. Able to get it back. Wow. Russell with three. Not a textbook possession, but it ends with three. For any game all year. Timberwolves looking to add to their lead. Beasley, oh boy! How about that roll for Malik? To Beverly. Beverly able to hold on to the basketball. Oh, how about that? And that did look intentional. I don't think there's any doubt he planned that. 
that three by Russell and in a span as the Timberwolves turn it over and Russell now back to back buckets he skies for the dunk. A 12 nothing run Vanderbilt after the block shot gets it to Cat and Towns delivers the triple. Now back in Timberwolves get Edwards down the paint and Ant skies for the stop. away with it. Means Williams blocked from behind by McDaniels. Wow. Get that shot out of here. Behind the back pass. Wrap around it. Towns trailing the play. Puts it on the deck. Goes back behind the line and drills the three. <laughs> Carlson, that's a foul. Get it in for Towns. Back from McLaughlin. The bounce to the outside. The jumper. Good! It's Edwards! McDaniels tries it again. Three for three from downtown. Spark off the bench. Time. And they're trying to attack John ja Morant. Getting this switch and letting Anthony Edwards just go to work on. That's a good job by Edwards. Continue to defend. Towns down the lane with the flush. Timeout Memphis. Minnesota. John ja Morant on the drive. Deflected by Edwards and stolen. Ahead to Beasley. Beasley McDaniels again. McLaughlin. Inside McDaniels. Oh! Right in the face of Jackson. Side to Towns. Towns drives, stops, kicks it out. McDaniels a three. Puts it in! Oh, Jane McDaniels does it again. It's a one point game. All right, welcome back. It is the third and final period of game two of the, the, the um, NHL Cup Finals. As both teams... It is... Okay. It is 2-1 Minnesota 2-1 Seattle. Can Minnesota make a third period comeback? Keep watching to find out, especially if your name is Dominic. Cuz this is your team. If you don't know who he is, you probably won't know who he is if uh, if you're not an XB TV member. But we like to call him Cryptom. All right, Minnesota's trying to fight with the puck. So Minnesota is going to make another comeback. It's 2-2. Two, two. That's our never say never moment of the game. Here's Minnesota again. They fired. Saved by the tame. Brunner. Shoot. Score. Minnesota takes the lead. The Minnesota Frostbite have came back. 
Last time it was in the first period. This time it's in the third. Barry's going to get called for tripping. Here's Uribe. Back to Mawalski, to Fred Goosen. Back to Mawalski again. Taken down, and the puck is currently in control by Seattle at the current moment. Here's Brunner. It is 2-4 now. Four goals in the third period. Another penalty against you, Ride. That is goal number five in the third period for the Minnesota Crossbow. And that kind of looks like they've sealed the deal with those three goals. Keep in mind, the score was 2-0 at the start of this period with Seattle leading. Now it's 2-5 with Minnesota leading. Drewostic back to Graza. Back to Drewostic. Here comes Brunner. He shoots it saved. Here comes Sullivan. He shoots it saved. It's picked up by Ray. Great defending by Seattle, but and that's a goal for the Seattle for the Seattle captains. And it's 3-5 with 50 seconds left in the third period. Here's Seattle. Picked up by Kowalski, and Sullivan's going to get penalized for checking from behind. 30 seconds to go in the third period. Penalty against Brunner. And there's 10 seconds left. And as the clock winds down, the Minnesota Frostbite will get their second win in the series. Two more wins, and they are going to be UHL Season 1 champions. Seattle, they still need four wins. So Minnesota's controlling this series pretty well so far. Let's take a look at the stars of the game, shall we? MVP goes to Joshua Brunner with two goals, four shots, and nine hits.
the runner-up for MVP is Anthony John Sullivan, who had one goal, five shots, and 13 hits. And for the third place is Lucas Johnston, who got one goal, one assist, one shot, and three hits. And that is basically, and that is basically that. We will see you guys later for game three of the UHL finals tomorrow on August 23rd. Right now, Minnesota's looking to sweep the Seattle, but we'll find out in game three.